in this section, we'll take a look at some more effects and wrap up our promo video. We'll learn how to adjust layers, how to work with timing, and how to animate effects. In this video, we'll change the composition of our project by adjusting the layers. For the promo video, I want the Stingray to come on first, then the title, and then the mermaid and shark. So I'll scrub through the timeline and see that the Stingray starts to go off the screen at about four seconds, which is when I want the title and my byline to come on. I'll shift click on the title and my byline and move it to four seconds. At eight seconds, I want my mermaid to be fully on screen. So I'll select the layer, tap the letter P for position, and add a keyframe. And I want her off the screen at about seven seconds. So I'll move my CTI or current time indicator to seven seconds, and then I'll move her off screen. Once my title is fully visible at about seven seconds, I'll animate the shark on screen. So again, I'll type the letter P for position. I'll turn on the position keyframe, move him off screen, and then move my current time indicator to nine seconds. I'll then drag him across the screen until he's off screen. And now I'll see that he moves across the screen. Next, I want the shark to turn around and come back. To do that, I'll split the layer by typing Command Shift D or Control Shift D if you're on a PC. I'll right click on the off screen shark and choose Transform Flip Horizontal. Additionally, on my top shark image, I'll select the keyframes, right click, and choose Keyframe Assistant Time Reverse Keyframes. This makes the shark go the other way. And when I move the keyframes into position, you'll see that the shark comes on the screen and then turns around and comes back. Now, to make him look like he's getting closer, let's scale up this shark. So with it selected, I'm going to type the letter S to open up the scale option, and I'll scale him up to about 43%. Additionally, I want to give a little bit of a pause while he's off screen. So I'll take the top split layer and move it out just a little bit so that it gives him time to turn around off screen. 